What's good everyone, it's Romero17 and today we're going to be breaking down the perks of UFC 4. It's a little bit more ambiguous now in comparison to UFC 3 where there was different levels, different power, different speed and you could actually go over the 100 point threshold with perks. In this game it caps out at 100, it doesn't allow you to go past that. And it's really, you know, not a lot of people know, it just says this move gets faster as a result of this perk but it doesn't give you the numerical value. So, I went around asking the devs and whatnot. Got a list ready, and I'm going to be breaking down what each perk does. This is going to help you choose what fighter works best for you. And who knows, some of these lower rated fighters that have these specific perks, they might be more useful than you think. So, without further ado, we're going to get into the striking per portion first. Then we're going to get into the recovery, stamina, cardio stuff. And then the final portion is going to be more of the grappling, submission uh, perks, and all that fun stuff. So, let's get into the striking perks. So for laser focus, this is plus four speed, plus four accuracy, the straights, Superman, and spinning punches. So those are the strikes that benefit from that. Fast hands, plus four speed and accuracy, the hooks, uppercuts, and overhands. Pay to miss, the perk right underneath that. Sways while standing still and moving forward. So basically your hand movement is plus four when you're going forward or if you duck and when you're stationary as well. Predator gives you plus four forward to your footwork when you're going forward and circling so it's a really good perk for cutting somebody off or just kind of circling 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 frontal assault is going to be plus five to your speed and accuracy when you're using those specific strikes like body teeps front kick side kick so if you have a 91 you're gonna have a 96 when you throw those strikes uh what's next it's going to be steel checks that's going to be 10 percent extra check damage on your opponent's legs so with guys like jose aldo who have this perk is Kicking them is not going to be ideal. Untouchable is plus four head movement when you're retreating, but also when you're doing pulls and slips. So going backwards, retreating, slips, pulls. Razor wire gives you plus five speed and plus five accuracy to knees and elbows. The Taekwondo perk underneath it is going to be plus five speed and accuracy to all the spinning moves. So it's going to be spinning back kicks, spinning whatever the hell it is going to be. Plus five accuracy, plus five speed. If you have the crazy legs perk, it's going to be plus five speed and plus five accuracy to your roundhouse kicks, leg, body, head, and the switch kicks. They're going to be faster and a lot more accurate due to the plus five. Weathering storm. So if you're moving backwards and holding block, your block is actually plus five. And if you're moving sideways with head movement, it's plus five as well to the block. So keep that in mind if you're using specific fighters like say Brian Ortega, that's the little bonus they have to their block. If it's a bulldog, you block more effectively when you're standing still or moving forward. So the pressure fighters usually benefit from this perk a lot. It's plus five to their block as they're standing still right in front of you or if they're moving forward. And this also applies to ducking forward as well. On to now the stamina recovery perks. So with wake up call, you recover faster, you get plus three to recovery right after you get stunned, so the duration isn't as long. Recharger recovers more health in between rounds, so you recover a lot better there. Marathoner is plus three cardio with moving strikes. So if you're moving and you're throwing those lateral strikes, they use less stamina. And higher altitude is plus three cardio in rounds three, four, and five. So if you have 91 cardio, it's 94 in rounds three, four, and five. Carved of wood. This perk is actually type crazy. If you have lower health than your opponent at the moment, when you're striking with them, you automatically get plus three in these specific areas, right? So if you have lower leg health, you have now plus three leg health. If you have a lower chin, it's plus three chin. If you have lower body health, it's plus three body health. So uh, it's a tanky perk. Out the gates, it's cardio plus three in rounds one and two. So if you have 90 cardio in uh, round ones and two, you actually have 93. But then it goes back down to 90 for rounds three, four, and five. So keep that in mind. Don't go too crazy. Grinder uses plus three cardio in the clinch so when you're working in the clinch you use less cardio simple so guys like Kamaru Usman they can go all day in the clinch workhorse plus three cardio on the ground so you use less stamina when you're working on the ground especially with a lot of these grapplers to have this perk now I believe workhorse also helps with top game ever so slightly I think it somewhat helps with denials I have to go and try and double and confirm that and now we're going to get to the more ground heavier sub perks that don't really revolve around recovery and cardio and all that fun stuff so when it comes to nightmare that's plus three off the back if you have wrestle clinic it's plus three onto your top game which helps with denials no cigar and crafty or basically plus six to your sub defense 
Slam boost, 75% extra power on takedown damage, like glue, 6 plus clinch control. To your feet is plus 5 to your takedown defense and faster getups. And slippery basically helps you with denials in the clinch. That's all the perks for UFC 4. Like, share, comment what you like the most about the video. Mero17, I'm out of here.